Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve word problems involving law of sines and law of cosines. Let's take this first example right here. Two observers are standing on a shore 2,000 feet apart at points A and B and are both looking at the boat located at point C. Angle A is 51 degrees and angle B is 62 degrees. Find the distance from each of the observer to the boat. So we're going to draw the picture for this uh, problem right here. So we can go ahead and say that this is the location for, let's say this is A, and this is the location for uh, person B. Now, again, both of them are looking at the same point, which is the boat. And let's just take this as point C. Now, we can draw a triangle out from this. So that would be triangle A, B, C. Now, there are other given variables right here. So we start with the angle of um, angle A. So that would be 51 degrees right here. So that's what it says on the problem. And angle B is 62 degrees. So we can have this as um, 62 degrees right here. Another given is that this person A and B are located 2,000 feet apart. So I'm just going to label this as 2,000 feet. Now, again, in this problem, we're supposed to find the distance from each observer to the boat, which means that if this is the boat, then we can go ahead and say that we need to determine the distance from person A to the boat. We can just take this as X and we have from the um, person B to the boat, we can take this as the distance there would be Y so that we are supposed to determine this variables X and Y. So if we are to use the law of signs for this, we need to have have a known angle and a known side. So this is a known angle, but this is an unknown side. This is a known angle, but this is an unknown side. So this is a known side, but we need to figure out what is this angle C right here. Now we remember that the total measure of all the angles inside a triangle is always 180. So that we can go ahead and solve for um, angle C right here. Okay, so our angle C is 67 degrees. So I can go ahead and label that um, up there. Again, remember that if we um, have a triangle, the measure of all the angles inside is always 180. So I showed the work um, down here. So then from here, we can go ahead and solve for either X or Y. So let's solve for X first. So we're going to use the law of sine for this or the sine law. So we are going to set this up. That would be uh, the sine of the angle over the side across from it. So that would be um, sine of 67. So I'm just going to write that up here. So that is sine 67 over the side across from it is 2000. And then we have equal to, we can, uh, again, we're solving for X. So we go ahead and say sine of 62 degrees over the side across from it is x so that we are going to um, cross multiply so that we can solve for x and this is how it's gonna look like so what i did was i paired it up that would be sine of 67 over 2000 and that is sine of 62 over x i crossed multiplied them and that gives us x sine of 67 is equal to 2000 sine of 62 so that we wanted to solve for x so we're going to divide both sides by sine 67. Okay, after doing the math, I determined that the distance from person A to the boat is 1,918.4 feet. Now, we are going to solve for the distance of person B to the boat. So that we're going to go ahead and show the work on the side right here. So again, we set up the um, equation. That would be sine of 67 over... 2000 and we're solving for y so that will be sine of 51 over y so i'll write it up here
Okay, after doing the math, we determined that the distance of person B to the boat is 1,688.52 feet. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Three friends, Juan, Tyrone, and Haruto, are camping and their tents form a triangle. If the tent of Tyrone is 36 meters from Juan, and the tent of Juan is 28 meters from Haruto, and the tent of Haruto is 41 meters from Tyrone, Juan, while sitting outside the tent, wants to calculate the angle between the line of sight to Tyrone's tent and the line of sight to Haruto's tent. So we are going to draw the um, picture right here. So we have the location of these three tents. Okay, so it forms a triangle. Let's have this as um, one's tent and let's have this as Tyrone's tent and let's have this as Haruto's tent. Looking at the problem right here, the tent of Tyrone is 36 meters from Juan. So this Tyrone and Juan here would be 36 meters. And this um, distance from Juan to Haruto is 28 meters. So this one right here is 28 meters. And the distance from Haruto to um, Tyrone is 41 meters. So I'm just going to label that as 41 meters right there. This picture is not drawn to scale. So what is this problem asking us? So we need to determine what is the angle between the line of sight to Tyrone's tent. So one here is sitting on his uh, tent. He wanted to know the angle between the line of sight to Tyrone's tent. So this line of sight right here and the line of sight to Haruto's tent, this uh, line of sight right here. So he wants to determine this angle right here so that we can go ahead and use the law of cosines for this to solve for the missing angle. We can go ahead and set this up here. Using the law of cosines, we can go ahead and write 41 squared, that is the side across the angle, is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining sides. So that would be 28 squared plus 36 squared minus twice the product of these two sides. So that is 28 times 36 times the cosine of the angle, which is angle J. So that would be cosine of angle J. So that we can go ahead and um, simplify this one right here. 41 squared is 1,681 is equal to 784 plus 36 squared is 1,296 minus 2 times 28 times 36 is 2,016 and we have a cosine J. So we need to determine the angle J. So that let's simplify this. We can add these two together. The equation would come out. 1,681 is equal to adding these two would come out 2,080. And then that is minus 2016 cosine J. Now, please be careful on this side because most students miss this. They're going to subtract these oh, two no. together. That is not the correct way to do it. Because remember, if we look at this, this one is just 2080. Well, this one right here is 2016 and it goes with cosine J. So these two are not like terms. To better understand this, let's take this as 2080 minus 2016. We, this is missing. So this is 2016. 16x. So you cannot subtract 2080 minus 2016x because they are unlike terms. But what we can do is we can subtract 2080 from both sides. So I'm going to subtract 2080 from both sides right here so that we can um, cross the uh, 2080 out on the right side. So we are left with negative 399 is equal to negative 2016 
that is um, cosine j. Again, we wanted to solve for angle j so that we can go ahead and divide both sides by negative 2016. Negative 2016. So we can cross this out. We are left with cosine of angle j is equal to negative over negative is a positive. So that would be um, 399 over 2016. And then we want the j. So we're going to um, determine the arc cosine of j. So this would come out j is equal to cosine negative 1 of 399 over 2016. And again, be sure that you set your calculator to degrees so that you can um, get the correct answer. So using the calculator on this, we can go ahead and say that angle J is actually 78.58 degrees. So this is the angle between the line of sight from um, Juan to Harutu's um, tent and from Juan to Tyrone's tent. So this angle right here is 78.58 degrees. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.